I also would like to thank Mayor Croston and Oak Bay High for hosting this event. Well, I think we've had just about enough of Gordon Campbell. It's been eight long years of watching life get more difficult for BC families and BC businesses. It's been eight long years of watching our public assets squandered, sold off, or given away to liberals, friends, and insiders. It's been eight long years, and it's been enough. It's time to take back your BC. I've always been very proud to call BC home. I've always seen it as the best place to study and to live. But in the last eight years, BC is beginning to top a new list of worsts. And it's time that BC Liberals took responsibility for that. Job losses of 80,000 people since January, the worst in Canada. Per capita spending on residential care for seniors, the worst in Canada. Assistance to students from second best in 2001 to worst in Canada. On child poverty, for five years running, the worst in Canada. Spending on social housing, the worst in Canada. After eight years, this list of worst is piling up. About the only people not upset are the oil and gas industry, for whom the worst environmental protections in Canada are something to celebrate. No wonder then that in Canada, one such company has donated over $250,000 to the BC Liberals in three years. This same company is planning to open a new plant near Force Nelson, which will increase BC's total greenhouse gas emissions by 3% all by itself. This is the wrong direction for our province. New Democrats have a different plan for BC. We're tired of keeping tally of each new worst. We believe it's time we got back to being the best. We want to restore education, to reduce student debt and freeze tuition. We want to cut hospital wait times and improve seniors' care and child care so that families are able to work without worrying about who's those who depend on them. We want to keep the economic advantages which BC Hydro gives us, the cheap power that gives us, our businesses, the ability to compete on the global market. Insiders and large corporate interests. Eight years of Campbell is more than enough. Carol James and the New Democrats have a fat plan. We're ready and we're ready to take back your BC. A lawyer walked up to me the other day and said, You should be talking about Campbell's dis. Talking about the theft of BC Rail from the people of British Columbia. You should be talking, no, you should be shouting, and he was shouting, about broken contracts, stolen forests, and the giveaway of our rivers and water. He went on listing, one after the other, the ways that Campbell has violated the public trust, the ways he has broken faith with citizens, and finished by telling me that we can't let him get away with it. This is a crucial election, and this race is neck and neck. After eight years of Gordon Campbell, the cuts are beginning to take their toll. Cuts to seniors' care, 800 fewer beds by many of our elders left without the care they need. The Campbell government confusing assisted living with residential care beds is not going to count them any better. Cuts to health care, wait times growing as our funding falls from second to seventh in Canada. Cuts to post-secondary education, $1,000 less per student than in 2001 as our students struggle under increasing debt. 44% cuts to environmental protection regulations from a man who has the nerve to promote himself as a green leader. And some nerve it must take. The Gordon Campbell who claims to care about the environment is the same man who promotes offshore oil drilling, who wants to send oil tankers through our strait, the same man who wants to place a $2.2 billion tax on businesses and families during a recession, all in order to cover up the fact that his environmental record is as green as an oil slick. Gordon Campbell will judge I ask you to judge the 
NDP on our plan, a plan that involves the type of investment and tax breaks needed to support businesses and families, that improves seniors' care and reduces hospital wait times, a plan that stops the privatization of health care, the giveaway of our lands, and the sale of public assets like BC Hydro that are the wealth of British Columbia. On May 12th, I ask for your support. Together we can bring this plan to life. Because eight years is more than enough, I'm going to take back your BC.